Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to list five shocking things you didn't know about Star Wars. Let's get right into it. Star Wars still has us in its grasp decades after its inception. The films are deeply embedded in popular culture, with some being regarded as the best films of all time. Star Wars may not always fly in the realm of science fiction, but it is a 10 out of 10 example. And as with any long-running franchise, it contains a plethora of little-known facts. So let us delve into a history as complex and contorted as the Sarlacc stomach. Let's list 5 Star Wars facts you probably didn't know. Number 1. George Lucas kept Vader's identity a secret from the actors. Luke, I am your father, is one of cinema's most memorable lines and its biggest mystery. The twist you see wasn't just a surprise for 1980s viewers, it was in fact a surprise to the majority of the Empire Strikes Back's cast and crew. Lucas said in a 2020 interview with StarWars.com, It wasn't in any of the scripts. It wasn't even in the story treatments. He then added, I kept that aspect of it secret, and I was the only one that knew about it. And it really wasn't until the day we shot that we told Mark Hamill so he could react appropriately. Until that point, only director Irvin Kirshner and George Lucas were aware of the plot twist. Ironically, the reveal and the associated line have become so iconic that it's difficult to find someone today who doesn't know Vader is Luke's father. Number 2. Sir Alec Guinness Hated Star Wars A few Star Wars actors have expressed dissatisfaction with their roles in the franchise. None, however, is more powerful than Sir Alec Guinness's. During filming, the Oscar-winning actor expressed his displeasure that his character's fate was only decided at the last minute. However, he began to dislike Star Wars long after the film's release. Although he was initially positive about the franchise, Guinness later stated that obsessed fan reactions would drain his positivity completely. As stated in his 2000 2003 autobiography, Guinness writes, A refurbished Star Wars is on somewhere or everywhere. I have no intention of revisiting any galaxy. I shrivel inside each time it is mentioned. He then wrote, 20 years ago, when the film was first shown, it had a freshness, also a sense of moral good and fun. Then I began to be uneasy at the influence it might be having. He goes on to say that he gave an autograph to a fan in exchange for a promise not to watch A New Hope again. While it's unclear whether the fan kept his promise, one thing is certain, Guinness never ranked Star Wars among his top 10 films, but he did enjoy the money. Number 3. Han Solo was meant to die in Return of the Jedi Return of the Jedi, while by no means a terrible film, is nonetheless considered the weakest of the original trilogy. Many people blame it on the Ewoks, which most of the cast and crew despised, but Lucas collaborator Gary Kurtz has another theory, which many fans agree with. The ending is far too euphoric and happy, and the entire main heroic cast escapes relatively unscathed. However, according to Kurtz, this was not always the case. Kurtz told LA Times, We had an outline and George changed everything in it. Kurtz then added, Instead of bittersweet and poignant, he wanted a euphoric ending with everybody happy. The original idea was that they would recover the kidnapped Han Solo in the early part of the story and that he would then die in the middle part of the film on a raid on an Imperial base. It's well known that Harrison Ford wanted Solo to die because it would be fitting for his story. He wouldn't get his wish, however, until The Force Awakens 31 years later. Number 4. Irvin Kirshner came up with Han's I Know line According to Irvin Kirshner, the director Lucas hired for The Empire Strikes Back, in a Variety interview, he and George only had one major disagreement. As it turns out, this is about one of Han Solo's most famous lines. When Solo is about to descend into Carbonite, Leia emotionally calls out, I love you, to which the smuggler responds, I know. Han Solo appears to be a natural fit for the line. Despite this, it was not included in the final shooting script. Solo used to respond with the prediction I love you too. Lucas mocked the line, I know, expecting the audience to laugh. As a result, he convinced Kirshner to reshoot the scene with the original, I love you too. They showed both takes to the test audience and discovered that they preferred Han's, I know. As a result, history was made. Number 5. Marcia Lucas is the unsung hero of Star Wars It turns out that not all heroes wear capes. In fact, they weren't always visible on the screen. This is certainly true of George Lucas's ex-wife Marcia, whose behind-the-scenes editing and storytelling ability saved the franchise on several occasions. Her most notable contribution, however, is Han's unexpected appearance in the Death Star battle in A New Hope. The Death Star trench run was originally scripted differently, according to the secret history of Star Wars, with Luke attempting to photo on torpedo the exhaust port twice. This is because Marcia had reordered the shots almost from the ground up, trying to build tension lacking in the original scripted sequence. If the audience doesn't cheer when Han Solo comes in at the last second in the Millennium Falcon to help Luke, when Darth Vader is chasing him, the picture doesn't work. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.